taken straight out of the camera. This was straight out of the camera with no editing. So if I take that one off you. Yeah. Very professional, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, fantastic quality. Back to my lunch. <laughs> I don't normally photograph my food, but we wanted to show what, what, what's the set one? There we go. I'll take that one. That's to show the level of detail it will record. No, I mean, yeah. From um, yeah, there you go. From my point of view, I'd be worried about um, in my pocket, yes. transporting it. Yes, exactly. But for you, you could put it in a front pocket here. Yeah. It would be fine. Um, it has more weight than a standard mobile phone. Can I feel it? Yeah, go ahead, play with it. But it's. Um, I mean, it would be useful if like, I don't know. It's yeah. Very, yeah. It'd be as technology goes on, yeah. it would be useful if there's like a little like, yeah. button or something. Yeah. Yeah. Put the camera yeah. away. Yeah. This is Mark One. Okay. If you think how far the iPhone has come. Yes. From the Mark One iPhone to where we are now. Yes. I think as a first attempt, the quality of what we're getting out yeah. of this is incredible. But this is a whole new concept to the market. Sure. sure. So as a photographer, I use this as my working camera. Yeah. So. This is what I carry when I'm doing professional work okay. and, I'm, and I'm shooting weddings or whatever. This is what I'm carrying around with me the rest of the time. So is this your personal phone? What you're yes, using? yes. Oh, right. Yes. yes. So, basically... so well, they, they've, they've, they've linked on permanent mode to me. So I, I get this one of the personal jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh... So I've been very heavily involved with all the um, launch of this. this so. so you're working with it and it's working well for you? Yes, very much so. And if you look at it as a mobile phone, you'll see that this is what I should be showing people. This is the Panasonic front screen. Yeah. But this is what I'm actually doing with it, reading my Kindle, tweeting. Yeah. You know, I'm playing Candy Crush. Yeah. The other day I was using it, it has Waze um, sat-nav. So I have Waze sat-nav running in my car. I was monitoring my mileage. I was, it was Bluetoothing to my car, so I was talking to somebody on the phone, then got out of the car and I was taking photos. Right. So it's a very, very competent, and that's because it's running two separate processes. It's running a processor for the phone, yeah. and the Android it's running at the moment is stock Android 4.4 KitKat. In June or July, it will auto-update to Lollipop, to the latest version of Android. Okay. Um, but it's running a dual processor for the Android, but it's running a, uh, the same processor as this camera, modified version of this processor, for the camera. So the camera is entirely integral, a premium compact camera, just married to the mobile phone. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a new concept. Right. And as that is a new concept, you do have to make that fit. Okay. So you do have a slightly thicker, to put that much glass on the front. Right. But you never know. We, no. by, the time, by the time we're at CM6, yeah. <laughs> you know, it'll be this thin, it'll be this, it'll be this deep, uh, we'll yeah. be wearing it on the side of our head. <laughs> so, do you use it for sending photos very, yes. very quickly? Absolutely. I, on Absolutely. Wi-Fi or something? Absolutely. So, I can, so, several things I can do. Firstly, I can take a photo and I can edit it straight away. So, a photo that I've taken today, really bad photo. I can edit that photo, now this is a pre-production so it's a bit flaky my one, there we go. So I can now, if I wanted to, I can turn it into black and white for instance, I can crop it. I could even put a board around it if I wanted to, yeah. And then I can save that. I could send it direct, but I, I can edit if I want. I can then put it straight up to... Now, I've had to put it on airplane mode in here because we've got so much Wi-Fi interference. This has been hunting for Wi-Fi like there's no tomorrow because so, we've got... Yeah, the Wi-Fi's not very good here. It, well, so. we have got, within this immediate area, yeah. we have got 30 Wi-Fi networks running out of these stores. Oh, right. Okay. So, at the moment, this phone... Yeah. is hunting and hunting yeah. for to, to pick up the correct one. It's going to be the same with iPhones. Yeah, yeah. So we've all had to put our phones onto airplane mode, whether oh. it's my work iPhone, yeah. whether it's all of them, because right. we're having trouble here with the Wi-Fi. Yeah. But in normal circuits, if I take it off Wi-Fi, if I take it off airplane mode, yeah. for instance, let me just take it off airplane mode. 
I've also got 4G and LTE, right. so this I've got a 4G contract. Right. So I can now send that straight to Facebook. Yeah. So showing off. CM1. Oops, okay, I can't even do that right. Never do this in front of people, it just doesn't no, work. No, this is right, this is it's all going to YouTube. Right? <laughs> so, I'm now going to post that. Now I'm posting that up over LTE, over 4G. Right, okay. That's now gone up. Now that, I could do that with any one of my files. I can yeah. also use this to run this camera. Yeah. So I can run this as a remote camera. So basically ah. you can tether off. Yeah, I can tether, tether these. You can tether from the phone to that let's camera. See, let's see if we can do it. Now this, this failed right, yesterday okay. because of all of the all, all of the Wi-Fi around here. <laughs> let's see if we can make it happen. So on here, yeah. I've got a button which allows me to set Wi-Fi. Yeah. Now what it's going to do is it's going to on here say, uh, Lex, I don't need to do that. I need to make a connection. Come on. Ah, I knew this would happen. Shouldn't need me to scan. So, okay, via direct, Wi-Fi direct. Now on here, I'll go into my Wi-Fi settings and I'll find the Wi-Fi that's GH4, that one. Okay. Connect. Now what will happen, Uh, we're having such problems here with the uh, I, I multiple. I believe you can do it. Yeah. yeah. No, look, we, we, believe, we, just, believe, we believe it's possible. Yeah. So what I can do is that I can normally, yeah. at that point, go into my image software here, image app. I'm just trying to connect not connected and I can either transfer image from the camera to here right. to send out yeah. which I was doing yesterday or I can use this to control this sitting remotely on a tripod or something. Oh right, okay. So yeah. I can shoot, I can put this over here yeah. and then stand over here and remote shoot and it will right. show me the same back screen. Right. So and that I can do with any mobile phone but it's it's useful to have these two working together. Sure. Um, so I do that if I if I've got this on a tripod over here right. and I want to be discreet. Right. I can be over here. <laughs> yeah. When I'm not in a 35 Wi-Fi <laughs> interfering. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's a very useful. Um, also, it also does uh, this does 4K photo as well. Right. But this does 4K photo and 4K video at 15 frames a second. So I can shoot. Yeah. But yeah. What, what I wonder if you would. Because you've, you've uploaded using 4G a still yes. image. Yes. If you were going to use 4K video yeah. over 4G, yeah. Yeah. you'd be still waiting, Absolutely. wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So, you would be. so, so for, that's really for you to take back yeah. and edit on your computer to send out. Okay. So it's, it's so, if you want so, to. So what, do, what are you doing anything about like sending video to a sort of instant thing like a Twitter not like, at the attachment moment, or anything like that? But not at the moment. But there. I mean, we can send to things like drop. Box, but you still have the same problem yeah. over 4G. Yeah. Um, it is still partly because it's 15 frames a second. It's not. We're not sending quite so much over. Right. So it's not try, like trying to send these. This is 30 frames a second. If I were to try and send this up over yeah. 4G, I'd be there forever. Right. But that's not what the purpose of 4K is about on these devices. Not sending up quickly. If I was going to send up quickly, yeah. I would want to. I would want to film on full HD or even or even SD, which I can on here. On this one? Yes, so I can film I can film in SD, I can film in full HD, I can film in 4K. Right. So, um, if I knew what I was going to do, yeah. I knew that the one to that moment coming up, I know that I'm going to want to whack straight up onto YouTube, Yeah. then I would stick it into SD. Right, okay. And then film it in SD and whack it straight up. Right, Not okay. Not bother with it doing it stuff like conversions. And that would work? That would work, that would work. Because it's just, it's much lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, that's fine. Um, on 4K photo, the reason you might use, sorry, Nib, are you okay? You've sort of FCF 1000, couldn't you? Yes, yes. What was the price they've done?